Jim Holloway, one of the last time I was here, I gave you a terrorism report. Nice <laughs> to yes. see you again. <laughs> Another line of work. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Joe Sewell, Mr. Man. President. Hello there. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Well, I thank you all for what you're doing and look forward to your report. Well, it confirms many of your remarks, Mr. President. This is our first report, and it uh, brings you some alarming implications regarding the effect of the decline in our maritime industries on our national security prospects. I know you'll do the right thing by it for well, I certainly will, and I appreciate this and all that you're doing very much. It's proud to have your, your help in this. Got a very able crew. 
very congenial gentleman too. I think we better get a formal photo here before we go. Yeah. Maybe we could have a couple of stand down here. Four on each side. Turn this around so it'll be in the picture. <laughs> okay, everyone who's looking right here, that's great. Thank you, sir. Well, I thank you very much. And we shall continue <coughs> this immediately. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I see you. You can't wait to see you. Oh, someday soon, and I'll be back. I hope so. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, the President of Uganda. Well, Mr. President, how are you, Excellency? Just fine. But it's good to see you. Thank you, everyone. And you the Foreign Minister. Hello there. Princess oh, no. Elizabeth, the ambassador. How do you do? To meet you again. You wrote a book. I gave you a copy. You did, and I read it, too. That's I fantastic. It's time to be able to say thank you. Very That's much. fantastic, Mr. President. And, you know, Mr. Crockett. I sure do. Mr. President. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Ambassador Hodegra. Ambassador no, please. Yes, yes. Hello there. Nice to see you. Oh, yes. Hello. Hello. Sam, I'll come to you, though, by... Well, I know we only have a, a few minutes here, but it's a pleasure for me to be able to speak to you about, I know, your concern and progress you're making with regard to human rights. But, uh, as a matter of fact, my daughter Maureen yes. related to me a conversation about shoeless children yes. that you had with her. I'm glad you remember that uh, talk. Well, she just recently uh, communicated with me when she evidently knew that you were I was going to see you. And yes, in uh, Rwanda. Rwanda is one of our neighbors. Yes. I'm very sorry about Mrs. Uh, Regent, but I'm glad she's recovering. Oh, it's been a miracle. Mm -hmm. it, uh, she's, other than when we had children, it's the first time she's ever been in a hospital as a patient. Mm -hmm. Been there many times. Her father was quite an eminent surgeon. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, for a time during the war, was what you call a nurse's aide, helping out. Yes. But uh, my goodness, you know. The operation was only Saturday, and uh, here she is. Uh, well, Thursday morning, I'm going to go and bring her home. That's very good. I yes. called from her this morning. She was up in the shower. Well, yesterday, I was there and took her for a walk through the corridors there to give her some exercise. That's very That's very encouraging. Well, it's, it's been, well, the doctors say she's way ahead of schedule on her. Yes. Must be. Well, it's just uh, recently, only a few days ago. I was in Canada, so I was following the, the news on the TV. I was in Canada attending the Com Commonwealth Conference. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could I bring up a case of another thing? Uh, even though it may sound as if I'm interfering here, or I shouldn't. Uh, You're most welcome. I, I'm aware of uh, Mr. Gaddafi's approaches and efforts to get a foothold in your part of Africa and all. And I just like to intervene in caution. I don't think he has worthy causes here that he is he's promoting. I think he has a, a kind of world revolutionary idea and I know it has cost a number of lives forced us to take a drastic action in his country to let him know that we were aware we had indisputable truth that he had been back of a, of a terrorist act that killed a number of people, to including an 11 year old girl. So we thought that we should show our displeasure. We did. Mr. President, I started fighting Gaddafi before you started. What? I started fighting Gaddafi before you started. <laughs> in 1979. Yes. 1978. We were fighting a man called Idi Amin. Oh, yes. He was the president of our country. Yes. Gaddafi sent in troops to back Idi Amin. For heaven's sake. I was one of the leaders leading the other side. 
So this was way before you started well, saying that. I'm preaching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm preaching to the choir. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, yes. it's true. I know what you accomplished. The deficit and what you've in done. 4,000 soldiers, fighters. In 1978. Isn't that funny? I don't know how that escaped me, and I didn't. I wasn't aware of it at all. Well, four thousand soldiers, fighters. But it I mean, if you remember, it yes. I mean. Yeah. Well, then you don't need any. Oh, I do. Yes, I know very much about him. I, I uh, you don't need any warnings from me about it. No, we don't. We don't. Gaddafi. We don't. We don't. But the only thing about Gaddafi, we, why we're working with him, is on just one point. The, the south to south trade. Yes. He's, he's one of the few people willing to do it. Compared, for instance, uh, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, they've got a lot of oil, which we could buy and give them food, for instance, because they, they need food. They're a desert country. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they don't uh, respond very quickly. But the Gaddafi does. If you say, I give you maize and you give me oil, he responds. So uh, Gaddafi is a wide spectrum. Uh, Arab chauvinist, yes. expansionist, uh, Islamic fundamentalist, yes. but also South-South uh, cooperation. So we just speak that. <laughs> uh, well, it's a great pleasure to, to see you. OK, excellent. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for putting the, in a moment in your crowded shape. Well, I'm, I'm pleased to. Pleased to.